What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coach and John. I'm here with my guy, Trader Pro. Trader Pro, man. Other guy, that's just Mike. And today is another One Piece holiday. Chapter 1037 dropped today. Oh, also here with my guy, Sabo. Can't forget him. Uh, 1037 dropped today. And it's been a very long time since we got a chance to even read some manga. I feel like the last chapter that came out was like, what, a month ago? Or damn near close to it. Because it was like right, like, before three weeks ago, like three weeks. It's been a break for New Year and then. Exactly. So this is the first time of the year, eh? Def, yeah. It's it's first first chapter of 2022. Off on the right and they definitely <laughs> did. Uh, we're going to rate this chapter at the end of it as well. Um, Mike, first tell me what you, what you thought about the chapter. Honestly, I, I loved it, honestly. Uh, when the last time uh, we even saw like Luffy and Kaido fight before this? I'm not going to lie, it's been, like, it's been like four or five was, chapters. It was a re I know it was, yeah, it's been like four or five chapters. It's been a minute. Because they had to make Ow. a circle, they had to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Queen, Zoro and King, Sanji Queen, and then yeah, know, other yeah. Stuff. And, um honestly i was really i was really hoping that they were gonna like get the other small shit out the way first before they went back to luffy and kaido fighting on the rooftop because i really yeah. wasn't gonna wrap up the shit with the the rhizo and the earlobe nigga because i don't care about that so i just want that to ever get to be done I I forgot they exactly I, I that's still hope, happening i kind of hope that they went like went to the reverie first and then like Mm, yeah, it's crazy. Like, I didn't even know how to do that this, but, this chapter. But I'm glad they did that this chapter. I'm, you know, I'm glad they did that. I was wild. Um, yeah, but yeah, was I, want wild. Them to, I want them to get that out the way. I also want them to get... I want them to finish Kid, Law, and Big Mom's fight. I'm not going to say get that out the way because I'm curious to see how that's going to end. But I do need to put all those things to the side in a quick, in a hurry. Because the main <laughs> shit is going to be it's Luffy to and Kaido boxing for... I don't know what ten chapters straight, maybe fifty. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I like five or ten um, chapters straight. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want to happen. But getting into yeah. this one today, this chapter for ten thirty seven was really, I'll say, refreshing because we don't never really just see Kaido in this light of no being goofy. cheerful, goofy. Yeah, we, usually when we see him, he's more, he more stern, he more. But he's a drunk though. So a, exactly. Yeah, he's drunk so right this now, is so the first time. All the stages of drunk. As, as he was fighting Luffy, yeah, we've never seen him experience every single emotion of being drunk. Usually it's just like the anger or being an asshole. But this time yeah. it was. He's crying and fighting. Laughing, this is like childish drunk. Like, this is emotional drunk. Mm -hmm. Luffy was like, "Shit, this better not get in the way of me, uh, me whooping your ass." Yeah, so I was this, making this hey, team, I, I knew this. I'm true. This, this alcohol ain't nothing. It's not gonna stop me at all. I'm, I'm, I'm still with the shits. Um, yeah. it's crazy because when I when I noticed them doing that emotional drunk shit, I really thought that they were about to do like a a, a Rock Lee type situation. And this nigga Kaido, yeah. you just get cold. Like, like, like differently. <laughs> like, dude, I don't even know what if it's just no, defensive or whatever, no, but something like, happened with like a different fighting style. I think if they would, I think if they would have done that, I think I think One Piece probably would have got some. Some smut. They would have got some smut for that. They definitely taking that from Naruto like that. I would agree with but you I like, if they got smut for it. But people fuck with Raizo, and they definitely took him from Naruto. Honestly. All yeah, of his he, character he, he, is Naruto. Yeah, that's true. But I feel All like, the things he like Naruto. His, I feel like his shit is like, his shit is like watered down enough to be like, okay, yeah, yeah. It's watered like, down. That's, down. Down. that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't think it would have been like an, an exact reference to, to Naruto. Really, just more of like a trope, because there's other shows that have used drunken style. Like even Dragon Ball Z, Master Roshi did it in a tournament. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like it'd be more unique to his fighting style, and he do something with it. I thought that would have been dope. But what they gave us was cool too. Um, Man, it was cool. That was funny. No, nah, facts, facts. And even with being drunk, we saw that Kaido was still a very capable <laughs> nigga to fuck with. Yeah, it, was, it really didn't matter if he was drunk or not. Yeah, he over here depressed about the, the politics and shit of uh, having to rebuild some buildings that, that collapsed. Like that. It's gonna take five years. I'm just looking depressed, still yeah. defending himself yeah. against Luffy. You definitely got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> the fact that he's even daydreaming about this other shit. This shit was crazy. Um, during the middle of the fight, we see this nigga uh, Luffy do a, a Conqueror's Hockey coated headbutt with Kaido. And seeing stuff like that, he said, "Ah, oh, you sobered me up." 
Like, like, look at like the peak. Not even, honestly, not even the peak. Just look at the the current stage of Luffy and think about like when he first started fighting at seventeen. And Cause he all he's always been like a nigga who uses head on some headbutt shit. Yeah. But look who he's headbutting now, and it's not even <laughs> like <laughs> like talk about the villain range. Fucking Yonko with the C. Yeah, that's what I'm thought, honestly, it's looking, just looking at his character from the beginning, you wouldn't think he'd be doing none of this. Honestly. Especially with that type of power. Yeah. First season of One Piece, I wasn't thinking. I was like, oh how God. is this about to be like a lot of main character power? Then what you just see how versatile he is. It's like, okay, you can really do a lot with it. And it's still a mystery with it, honestly. We still don't know all he can do. Facts, we, we don't, don't know, know the awakening, awakening of, of the awakening of his fruit. And speaking of fruits. Talk to me. Uh, what's up? What's, what's the right. Pull up like a samurai, young OG Roji, fully gang Kai, fully Todoroki, I spit bar and ice, open all eight gates, feel like my guy, looking for an ass kicking, I'm the right guy, got body in the room, I'm cooling in the sky, got body monitor, touch down, take down your squad, got body cohen, mug, get your career revived, a bird, got some nerve, side time, I hit the block, hard, broke the curve, pull up in a gun, I'm You know, I was just venting, man, you know.